Um, hello? Uh, in my previous video, a simple multi threading game, Java game with no monitor pattern part one, uh, uh, we created a group of enemies. And um, um, in this video, we uh, continue the part two. We will make the enemy fight back so that uh, when they hit us, uh, the game is over. And uh, we want the enemy to move around by creating a updater thread. So let's let's get started. And uh, but before that, let's 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 start the timing. <laughs> uh, like always. Okay. Uh, hope we can finish in five minutes. And uh, uh, here, how we how we update the make the enemy move. We do that by create an updater thread. Okay. Uh, updater. Uh, we create a new thread, and uh, we need to rewrite the runnable. Runnable. Okay. And um, it can it will told us to add on implementing methods, which is a raw method. So in this raw method, what we should do? Mm, we should uh, change the location. So uh, let's get a um, for um, stream ID um, MT get locations um, key set. Okay, now we know which uh, enemy we are dealing with. So if uh, let's get some mutable point. Mutable point. P equal T get location. Uh, if P is alive, then we move it. So how we move it? We s uh, reset the location. Set locations. And uh, the P is original position, we add uh, a small amount to it. Okay, we add the speed, move speed. And, uh, same thing for P, Y, we add a small amount. And, um, okay, let me make this larger. At Y, we want to uh, move faster at Y direction. And of course, it's true because we are dealing with a live enemy. Okay, this is how we move it. And um, this won't work because we need to do this. Uh, first, we need to repaint. So, paint panel, repaint. Uh, and next, we need to do this in a while loop. This is called a game loop. And um, thread, current thread is interrupted. If you are not getting interrupted, you keep looping. And uh, do the same thing again and again. Okay? And um, <coughs> You cannot do this too fast because uh, uh, then your enemy will move like a flash. So you need to uh, snip, snip sometime, snip uh, like 100 milliseconds before you your next move. So let's implement those. We are happy with that, and um, we have the updater now. Let's get it uh, start. Uh, okay, we should have a moving enemies. Okay, now they are moving. Let's hit one, hit another. Okay, the enemy cross us. Nothing happened. Let's next uh, implement the game over. Okay, and uh, let's enemy fight, fight back. So when we do the clint, uh, 
our beam could kill the enemy, but the enemy could also kill us. So, um, if if your enemy overlap your tank, then it's game over. Game over. Uh, what do we? What does game over do? It's uh, it's easy. Let's it's uh, we just uh, disable this, remove key listener. This, okay, and the game is over. Let's run this again. Okay, get this enemy. Uh, get this enemy. Oh no, I cannot move anymore. I can't shoot anymore. The game is over. And uh, this is um, uh, next in the next section. I will revisit those codes and uh, analyze uh, a multi-threading aspect in more detail. Okay. Let's see what. Oh. End of the recording.